The judge has ruled that Tay-K will be charged as an adult. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. Hey yo, I appreciate it if you could hit that like button right about now. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Alright. So, uh, recently, um, I, I did a couple of videos on Tay K, really not that many. Uh, the reasons why I haven't been doing that many on Tay K is, is because his charges, he's an artist uh, out of Texas, and his charges are really, really serious. So, therefore, I don't, I don't really want to make videos and have people think I'm taking, making light out of him. And I also went and want to, you know, make a video that could sway somebody's opinion one way or the other of his guilt or innocence because I don't know what his guilt or innocence is. I just know that he's been he's been charged for these crimes. Um he's been charged with two counts of murder and another count of I think uh assault. Um so th these are not this isn't anything to shake a stick at. And I don't know if the man is guilty. He might very much so be innocent as far as I know. But these are some very, very hard charges to, to beat. So, um, anyway, uh, he went to court the other day and also he changed his lawyer just in case nobody knew about that. He changed his lawyer. He's actually using, uh, the same lawyer, I believe that got Kodak Black off. I think the same lawyer was also used by Drake before. So he went and got himself a new lawyer and he's not using the same lawyer that he had before. I guess, you know, when you got a uh, you got a song that's reached up to like almost 70 or at 70 or something like that on the billboards, the charts, then, you know, you could, you could step it up with your lawyer game. So, uh, his lawyer has released a statement and it said, uh, we just concluded the certification transfer hearing for Mr. McIntyre. Um, just so y'all know. Tay K is going to be charged as an adult because he's 17 now. When when the crimes were committed, he was like 16, but he's being charged as an adult. It's in Texas. In Texas, they don't play that. And um, one of the main reasons why I think the judge said that he's going to charge him as the adult, besides just the charges that he's up for, is because by the time they actually go to trial, he will be an adult. So uh, anyway, the the letter reads... We just concluded the certification transfer hearing for Mr. McIntyre. The judge has ruled that this case should be moved to the adult court based on his age and the fact that the juvenile court will lack jurisdiction soon. Like I just said, soon he's going to be um, over the age that the, the juvenile courts can, you know, try him. The judge was very clear to tell Mr. McIntyre on the record that this decision has no bearing whatsoever on his guilt innocence in this case after a full day hearing with numerous officers testifying under oath officers testifying that there was no evidence that mr mcintyre engaged in any of the violent act or possessed any weapons mr mcintyre remains upbeat after his hearing i believe once all the evidence was presented mr mcintyre will be exonerated on all charges okay uh basically all charges, we look forward to moving ahead. Okay, um, just so I could just give you a little update on one of the charges in which he's actually being charged um, of is it was a home invasion where a 21-year-old man got killed and got murdered. And uh, basically, the way I the, the way I remember it is that the gentleman was uh, had drugs or money in his house, and two girls had went in there allegedly. And the girls allegedly informed Tay K and his accomplices that, you know, and allowed them entrance into the house where then they went in and the, and they robbed them. And on the way out, one of the one of the men in the house was shot and he died. And the argument is, and they've never, as far as I know, Tay K has never been accused for this actual shooting. As far as I know, 
He has never been accused of this actual shooting. It was said that somebody else actually turned around and fired at the man as they were leaving. But this is America. And you know how they do the systems in America. If there's a crime committed, you're there committing the crime. Someone dies, they put it on you. So we don't know what's going to go on with this. You know, uh, also in the, the letter that his attorney had put out, it also said that all of the uh, officers involved agreed that he had nothing to do with the actual violence of the the cases that's involved. That, you know, uh, even though violence was committed and he was there and he was there in on behalf of the individuals or with the individuals committing the violence, he didn't actually commit any of the violence. They don't put none of the guns in his hand or anything like that. So it's his attorney feels good about his chances of actually beating this. Well, with that being said, I'm look, I don't want an innocent man to go to prison. I don't want any innocent man to go to prison, period. Uh, I don't know whether this gentleman actually committed those crimes. All I know is that the crimes were committed. If he's innocent, hopefully the facts will come out that will allow for the proper judgments to be made. And, you know, everybody can have closure. And at the same time, I do believe that if somebody is guilty of a crime, then they should be held accountable. But if he is not guilty of this crime, then yes, he, he should get whatever the requisite time for somebody who was just there when a crime was being committed. Not the time for somebody who actually did the, the murdering and the killing and the whatever the heck. He should get the time for the person who just happened to be there when the other guy went off the rails. If that's what happened. Anyway, um, I have not been covering much TK. If anybody does want me to keep covering TK, I'm going to need some likes down below. I'm going to need some comments on this video. My other TK video didn't get many likes. It didn't get many comments. So I just haven't been covering the gentleman. So if y'all want me to cover the TK situation, I'm going to need some likes down there. I'm going to need a minimum of 100 likes. A minimum. I need at least 100 likes. And I'm going to need some comments down below and some, and not just free take a comments, like some good comments down below to, to, to you know, I want to know if anybody is invested in, in this particular story. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. I love y'all. And that's all I got for this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.